Hello friends, I'm glad to be with you in prayer today. I'm going to continue as I have throughout this week with offering prayers related to the pandemic, especially prayers lifting up masking and other concerns related to the pandemic. These are all prayers that have been written by others and I will let you know who those others are throughout the week and today we're going to offer a prayer for those affected by COVID and its disparities therein by Mags Trim. She's with the Episcopal Church of the USA. It's from a collection of prayers and liturgies for the COVID-19 pandemic. Let's pray together. Oh God of all comfort, we pray for those who have been and who are and will be affected by all that encompasses COVID-19. The physical, mental, spiritual, emotional, and financial burdens are great. And we know that not everyone is affected equally or justly. We pray especially for those who are risking their lives for the protection and sustenance of others. And we pray mightily with and for those whose voices often go unheard. We ask that you will look upon those who the world tries to look away from. May they know especially that they are heard and that they are held and that they are loved. May they know your truth in a world full of lies. May they know your protection in a world full of violence. May they know your abundance in a world full of poverty. No one child should have to fight so hard for the inheritance that you so freely gave to all. By your name, we are beloved, we belong, and we are beautiful. Amen. Friends, our reading for today comes from 2 Thessalonians, from the second chapter. But we must always give thanks to God for you, brothers and sisters, beloved by the Lord, because God chose you as the first fruits for salvation through sanctification by the Spirit and through belief in the truth. For this purpose, he called you through our proclamation of the good news so that you may obtain the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. So then, brothers and sisters, stand firm and hold fast to the traditions that you were taught by us, either by word of mouth or by letter. Now may our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father, who loved us and through grace gave us eternal comfort and good hope, comfort your hearts and strengthen them in every good work and word. Friends, this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed day. Take care of one another.